behalf of Excellency the Chair of the African Union Commission, His Excellency Dr. Musa Faki Muhammad, I have the honor to make this statement on Africa's Children's Day. Our theme, access to child-friendly justice in Africa. Africa Children's Day was first conceptualized by heads of state and government of the OAU in commemoration of 16th June 1966-76 when our students in Soweto, our children in Soweto, started the uprising in South Africa. Our young South African students marched in protest against the apartheid-inspired Bantu education, which was intending to prepare them for a future of perpetual servitude under apartheid. They refused to learn Africans. If we must learn Africans, they chanted, Buddha must learn Zulu. The march resulted in the public killing of many unarmed Soweto children. The first to fall was young Hector Peterson, shot by the apartheid police and now for, forever immortalized by a memorial in Soweto. Since then, the Organization of African Unity and its successor, the African Union, have used June 16th every year to celebrate Africa's children. This day is intended to inspire sober reflection and dedicated action towards addressing the plethora of challenges that our children in Africa face and continue to face. These include, though not limited, to lack of education, child labor, lack of employment, child abuse, child soldiers, and child trafficking, among many. Child slavery as well. Africa celebrates this day to commemorate our children and the brave action they took to claim this right. The uprising in Soweto marked the beginning of the end of apartheid. This uprising of Africa's children was their demand to create the future they want. So we are obliged to invest in our children if we are to achieve the Africa we want. Now, following on this practice, and on the basis of recommendations made by the African Committee of Experts on the Rights and Wealth of the Child, the African Union Executive Council of Ministers adopted, quote, access to a child-friendly justice system in Africa to be the theme for the Day of the African Child for the year 2020 in order to resonate with the theme of the Union for this year, which is silencing the guns. This year's theme calls on African member states to create and enhance a child-friendly justice system which is able to cater to the specific needs of, of all Africa's children, wherever they were, wherever they are in Africa and beyond. The African Union Commission recognizes that access to justice is a fundamental right. Access to justice is an essential prerequisite for the protection and the promotion of all other human rights. And this is especially true, even more so in the case of children. This can only be based on an all-inclusive education for all of Africa's children. That will ensure that they have employment and jobs and access to science and technology and development through this very science and technology to ensure innovation. Without ensuring access to justice, child rights commitments will remain mere promises on paper that do not serve the interests of Africa's children. So we in the African Union recognize that progress that some of our member states have made in enhancing justice for children is great. These include child-friendly courts and dedicated law enforcement units. But we still have work to do to make this a living reality throughout our continent for all of Africa's children. The African Union Commission, therefore, would like to stress the need to create a justice system that responds to the specific needs of Africa's children. More is required to be done to ensure that the administration of justice in member states adequately responds to the rights and needs of Africa's children. 
as we speak today, we have to admit that in Africa, we are still far behind. We must ensure that detention is the very last resort to keep children in conflict. Because children in conflict need to be kept out of prison and taken to school. We need more schools for our children and fewer prisons. In the majority of our countries, the criminal justice system is yet to provide special treatment to children consistent with their dignity. Our children are frequently detained together with their parents and other adults. This is clearly not in the best way, this is clearly not the best way to treat Africa's ch child offenders. Children whose parents happen to fall far of the law in Africa are often an invisible and often highly vulnerable group. Their rights and welfare can be gravely affected at every stage of their parents' criminal proceedings and eventual terms of imprisonment. These children are often born in prison and they often grow up in prison alongside their parents. This is clearly unfortunate and very sad. To address these, ch these challenges, therefore, the African Union Commission calls on member states to enhance efforts and to take the necessary measures to give Africa's children the justice they deserve. Today, as we commemorate Africa's Children's Day, we call on member states to recommit to work fully towards implementing the Africa Children's Charter. Our Agenda 2033 and, and the Africa Union's Children Agenda 2040 to create the Africa we want. Now, the Africa we want can only be an Africa fit for our children. It can only be an Africa that today's children can be proud of when they grow up to become the leaders of the continent to be able to create the Africa we so fervently need. Thank you for your kind attention. I should like to have the honor to dedicate and declare today Africa's Children's Day and to wish Africa's children happy Africa's Children's Day. Thank you for your kind attention. Mm -hmm.